12-year sentence for the woman responsible for the death of an IU student. In 2022, Madeline Howard was driving drunk when she hit Nathaniel Strayton while he was on a scooter. WRTV's Meredith Hackler joins us now. She just spoke with Stratton's family. Meredith? Mark Amber, it took the judge seven hours of testimony to from both sides of this case to decide how to sentence Madeline Howard. And she ultimately decided to sentence her to 12 years, 10 of which will be served at the Department of Corrections and two on probation. No, it was a unique sight outside of the Justice Center here in Bloomington. The car that Madeline was driving when she struck and killed Nathaniel was parked out front along with it, the scooter he was riding. During Madeline's character testimony, it was said that she's never committed a crime before and that she's a devout Christian. However, the judge felt the speed in which she struck Nathaniel and her high blood alcohol level deserved a punishment to match. When Madeline struck Stratton, she had a blood alcohol level of 0.226, nearly four times the legal limit. The Stratton family says there's no winning in this situation, but they're happy with the judge's decision. However, they have a message for Madeline and the Howard family as a whole. It's going to be a test for the Howard family because I'm going to say to them right here that if they appeal this case, all of what Madeline said, and you guys were in there listening to her, right? Yeah. And you listened to all those people say what a great person she was, how remorseful she is, how sorry she feels for our family. All of that is mute if she appeals this case. Madeline, for the first time since the crash happened, apologized to the family in a statement during court. She has 30 days to appeal her current sentencing. Now, along with spending 10 years in prison and two on probation, her license will also be revoked for 16 years. Now, the main message that the Strattons have today is to not drink and drive, order a car, do whatever you can to make sure something like this doesn't happen to someone else. Live in Bloomington, Meredith Hackler, WRTV.